What are the secrets to spiritual growth, growing with God? Three things, communication, comer, and community. First one is communication. My kids have to communicate with me in order to grow. They ask me questions, I answer those questions, and they are able to grow in their knowledge, grow in their maturity because of the answers to those questions. And just the fact that they can go to someone that they trust and depend on who will hear them, that alone creates so much confidence in them. You have to communicate with God, your father, if you wanna grow. Talk to him on the toilet, in the shower, in the car, wherever you are, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you have, take that time with him. It doesn't have to be this perfect formula, like I'm in my prayer room with the incense burning and the lights are low and the instrumental music's playing. It doesn't have to be like that. He wants you to talk to him all the time, to pray without ceasing, the Bible says. Talk to him, communicate with him, that's essential for growth. Number two, you can probably hear my kids in the background communicating. But number two is comer. Comer in Spanish means to eat. My kids are eating all day, every day, and that's why they grow so quickly. If we wanna grow spiritually the way that kids grow physically, we have to be eating the Word of God. The Bible calls the Word of God bread, water. It's the things that are essential for us to fill up and give us the nutrients we need spiritually to grow our faith. So how do we eat? Same thing, all day, every day. Get that verse of the day. You're in the McDonald's parking lot waiting for your food to be brought out to you. Open up the Bible instead of opening up Instagram. Read a little bit before bed. Listen to a podcast that has real biblical preaching. Amen podcasts available everywhere. Grow. Feed on that word. Fill up on that word as much as you can. That's essential for growth. Last one is communication. So we had. No, we did that already. Communication, comer, and then community. I'm getting mixed up with all the calm words. Community, church. We gotta go to church. You are part of the body of Christ. The Bible says that the church is the body of Christ. The church is the wife of Christ. And so if we are his body and he is the head, we gotta get together. You may not have a church. You may do. You may have a church. I don't. I don't know which one it is, but... If you don't have a church, find a life group, find a Bible study, get together with some other Christians. If you're in church, go. Spend time, get invested. Don't sit around and, and think, oh, this person's weird, that person's weird. Everyone in the church is weird, you're weird. If you, you can't find a perfect church, every church is gonna be messed up in some way. My dad used to say, you know, if you found the perfect church and you end up going to it, congratulations, it's not perfect anymore because you're there. <laughs> and so get in community, it's not going to be perfect, but that's just how we are. We're still a bunch of sinners, but we're forgiven and we're saved by grace. We've been made holy in God's eyes, communicating with it, uh, with God, eating on his word of God, eating his, his words, and then also um, having that community is just key to growing. Love you guys. I hope this helps. And check out Amen Podcast where I talk about more stuff like this, and I hope it helps. Available everywhere, and I'll see you in the next one. Amen.